With SE Connect, you can learn a 15-minute comprehensive manual therapy treatment that will set you apart from other massage therapists. SE Connect is the only multidisciplinary platform with practice tools, business tools, and a community of practitioners speaking the same language. Check it out at network.structuralelements.com. As a massage therapist, you know that truly, the world's most beautiful machine is in your hands. You help relieve the pain and pressures that hold your clients back from fully enjoying life. The CBD Clinic Massage Collection uses ingredients from nature to deliver strong, effective, temporary pain relief with aromatic botanicals and natural emollients like CBD. Our tiered pain products let you personalize your massage to meet each client's needs. Be your client's hero by giving them the massage treatment of their dreams with CBD Clinic. Learn more at cbdclinic.co. Welcome to the ABMP Podcast. My name is Darren Buford. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Massage and Body Work Magazine and Senior Director of Communications for ABMP. And I'm Kristen Coverly, Licensed Massage Therapist and ABMP's Director of Professional Education. Our guests today are Chandler Tofa and Jonathan Grassi, the maker and star of the film Touched, A Massage Story. Chandler graduated from USC's film program with a BA in Film and Television Production in East Asian Area Studies. With human connection at the focus of his work, his passion lies in bridging cultures and finding humility in the depth of what is bigger than us, one story at a time. He previously worked for Universal Pictures and currently works with Participants Documentary Team in Beverly Hills. Jonathan Grassi, world champion massage therapist and founder of Bodywork for Liberation, is dedicated to promoting somatic bodywork and advancing the field of massage therapy as a pillar of the healthcare system. Featured in national and local print and broadcast media, Jonathan brings vast training, expertise, and passion to his work. Jonathan's approach to somatic bodywork is gleaned from over 2,700 hours of body-centered training. Hello, Chandler. Hello, Jonathan. And hello, Kristen. Darren and Kristen, hello. great to be here. Hi. Great to be here. Hello. We are so excited that you're both joining us today. We have so much to talk to you about, but first... Listeners, I want to make sure I share this really important announcement. We're so excited to let you know that ABMP is partnering with Chandler and Jonathan to host an ABMP movie night on Tuesday, June 22nd. You can learn more and register at abmp.com slash ce socials. And that collaboration is the impetus for our conversation today. So I can already imagine listeners thinking to themselves, massage movie what does that mean exactly? So let's start our conversation today by learning more about the film. So Jonathan and Chandler, please share a synopsis of the film with listeners and tell us a little bit more about how it came to be. So what was the spark that started the project? Our film, Touch the Massage Story, uncovers the wisdom found in hands of a world-renowned massage therapist, Jonathan Grassi. Following his unconventional path to healing on the outskirts of Boulder, Colorado, we begin to understand why the art of massage is present in many traditions around the world. This film, the original idea was actually to create a series about massage um, and around the world and how it reflected different cultural values and aspects of uh, everyday society. And I originally got the idea while traveling uh, because wherever I'm, I'm a big traveler and whenever I travel, I always see different forms of massage therapy pop up. And I was curious to explore why it is that, you know, massage is such a big part of the human experience all around the world. And while researching kind of the America episode for this series, I stumbled upon Jonathan Grassi and the World Massage Championship. And to me, it was crazy that it's such a thing even existed. And so I, I, I reached out to Jonathan. Um, he was very kind to answer my emails and calls and uh, I, I loved kind of his approach to massage and really want to find out what made him the third, the world's third best massage therapist. And part of me was also, after doing a lot of research, I found there weren't really any uh, documentaries on massage uh, when it comes to giving a glimpse into the massage community. Um, so I thought it was important to, to um, put something out there to give a voice to massage therapists. When Chandler first approached me with this idea, 
I was blown away that that somebody would take the time to want to learn the stories of massage therapists, that somebody would want to, you know, give a voice to, in my experience, an underrepresented community, a community that's not well understood. And I I could see from the very beginning that he was really dedicated to sharing something special. And there's never been a documentary like this. So it's 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 pretty it's pretty extraordinary. So, gentlemen, the film highlights a couple of things. First, the struggle to succeed as a massage therapist. Jonathan, tell us about that beginning of your own practice and finding your way. Well, this is something, Chandler, we really spent time exploring that, you know, I went through the struggle that new grads so often go through, the difficulty in finding work, the the hardship of, of doing the physical work itself and, and fi- finding your way through that process, the burnout that can come. The, the giver's fatigue that you can uh, can experience, and also the challenge to make to make ends meet. It's it's a very real part of of that journey, and so you know my that was part of what we were able to really tell the story of 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 like what what it means to stay committed to to this profession, to find our way, um, and for me, uh, the way through that was through advanced training, just over and over, improving my skills, improving my abilities and eventually studying somatic psychology, which really turned things around. Jonathan, was there ever like a low point when you were starting to practice, when you really couldn't, you felt like you couldn't overcome certain hurdles? Yeah, (laughs) quite a few. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There's this uh, quotation, I don't remember who it's by, but, you know, the way to becoming a master is to like make all the mistakes you can in, in a very small specific area of study. <laughs> so I feel like I, I made all those mistakes and you know, the, the barrier to sharing myself, I really had to learn that you know, marketing wasn't uh, egoic, that, that sharing what I, what I was doing was actually uh, out of respect to the gifts that I, that I had to share with the world. And that, that was a big uh, shift for me in terms of mindset. Yes. And I'm so, as a fellow therapist, I am so happy to hear you say that because so many of us struggle with that, of allowing us to just let people know who we are and what we have to offer and to do that in a confident way. So thank you. Thank you for that. Speaking of being vulnerable, you are very open and vulnerable throughout this whole movie, which is beautiful. But I'm wondering, did you pause before saying yes, or was it, as we call it, a full body yes when Chandler first approached you? Well, I, I was so nervous and, exci- and excited, <laughs> both. Um, <laughs> I, I really knew that we had a potential to tell and show a side of massage that's never been, been shown before. And, and I knew in my heart that what Chandler was creating was going to elevate the profession of massage therapy in the eyes of, of all who saw it. Uh, the hands are mine, but the story is really the story of all massage therapists. And once I knew that Chandler, you know, his intention and, and his spirit behind this, I absolutely wanted to be a part of it. There's doing body work, which is a mind frame. And then there's filming your being filmed doing body work, which is a whole other animal. Did that take a while to grasp? One thing that's unique about this film is by getting to know Chandler and building a relationship with him and his team, it's like he became part of the massage room. He became part of the massage experience. He was so masterful at you know, making the sense of comfort be, be available. And one of the things that I'm so proud of with this film is I feel like we captured some of the magic that actually happens in a massage experience. And to do that authentically, I, I, don't, I don't think it's ever been really captured. It's, it's, it's really the, the vulnerable core of massage comes through uh, in this film. And, and that's, that's part of its beauty. Let's take a short break to hear a word from our sponsors. Anatomy Trains is happy to announce our return to the dissection lab in person, January 10th to the 14th, 2022, at the Laboratory of Anatomical Enlightenment in Boulder, Colorado. We are thrilled to be back in the lab with Anatomy Trains author, Tom Myers, and master dissector, Todd Garcia. Join students from around the world and from all types of manual, movement, and fitness professions to explore the real human form, not the images you get from books. This is an exclusive invitation. Email info at anatomytrains.com if you'd like to join us in the lab. ABMP members get 20% off the list price on Handspring Publishing books, including... 
Pre and Perinatal Massage Therapy 3rd Edition, The Alexander Technique 12 Fundamentals of Integrated Movement, and Hands in Healthcare 2nd Edition. Visit handspringpublishing.com to learn about these and other books. ABMP members visit abmp.com slash discounts to access your discount code to save 20% off list prices with free shipping to U.S. and U.K. addresses. Find your next favorite book at handspringpublishing.com. Now let's get back to the podcast. Chandler, what was the size of the crew working on? Was it you? Was it, were there multiple people? Yeah, I'm imagining all of you crammed into a small massage room. That's what I was wondering too. <laughs> yep, that's that's exactly what it was. <laughs> we um, so we had a crew of two while shooting, or three. Um, we had a, a, two of my friends from USC. One's name is Paul Lee. Uh, he was our cinematographer, super talented. Um, and then our uh, sound guy was Alex Bologna. And then on the music side, we had a really super talented composer named Katja Richardson, who actually, even before shooting the film, she composed a few tracks that helped inspire uh, kind of the tone and, and uh, feel of the whole film. I can say for uh, someone, uh, listeners having seen the film, it is absolutely beautifully filmed. It is mm-hmm. unbelievably beautiful and totally honors the massage profession. Would you not agree, Kristen? 100%. Yes. Uh, thank you. Both. That's all. That was all Paul. Paul made it look beautiful. Oh, Chandler's so humble. <laughs> <laughs> so we transition then from that small packed full of crew massage room to the gigantic stage of the uh, world massage championships. So tell us about that. A lot of listeners may not even know that exists. So Jonathan, when did that show up on your radar? When did you get interested in that? Was it before the film? How did that whole, you know, experience come to be? I started hearing about it in 2017 from a colleague. And when I first heard about it, I was like, huh, you know, really was a head scratcher a little bit. And I think it is for a lot of massage therapists. It's a kind of an unusual concept. But the more I learned about it, the more inspired I got by it. I watched some of the promo videos and you know, just the fact that there are massage therapists who practice so many different styles coming together in one place. You know, I was like, if I want to live my commitment to be the very best massage therapist, I want to be around people who have the same level of passion, the same level of commitment, and who are just as dedicated. And I felt like that was going to be an initiation. That was going to be a way for me to really live that commitment uh, to, to offer the very best service that I can. And you know, I I never regretted it for one minute. I went in 2018 and competed. Um, and, you know, I saw things that I would have never seen <laughs> just here. And I think the viewers will see, you know, three, four techniques that, you know, are totally new, totally exciting, totally beautiful. And, um, you know, it really served me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do they structure that? So are there different categories? Because you're right. When you watch the film viewers, it's amazing. There's so much happening in the room at the same time that your eye is drawn from one table to the next, but people are doing very different techniques and modalities. So how does that structure work? Yeah. So uh, the way they have it set up, up out there at the world championship is you do two rounds where you're actually giving massage. And then there's two rounds where you're actually receiving massage. And then there's other rounds where you're free and you can walk around and you can really go to the different rooms where they're practicing different styles and you can see it and you can take notes or get excited or, you know, make connections. A lot of it is about building that community and, you know, sharing this mutual passion. And what uh, category were you participating in? Yes, I participated in the freestyle category at the championship. It's really the kind of blend, the creative uh, category. It's one of the most exciting ones. <laughs> yeah. And tailgating on that, how would you describe your work? How would you describe your body work and what you do with clients? Absolutely. My work comes from two things. Uh, phenomenal touch, which is a very three-dimensional flowing modality. It's like a water uh, massaging the body. You are the water. You are the wave. Um, and it's so seamless. And then the other half of my work is the modality that I've created called Bodywork for Liberation, which is really this kind of meta modality that uh, it's a way of really looking at the depth aspects of massage experience. And that comes from my somatic psychology training. Um, and those are the things I weave together. 
Yeah, beautiful blend. Chandler, what was that experience like for you at the World Massage Championships? The big deep dive, quick one, a quick deep dive into uh, massage therapy in all different forms, right? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, I I loved how open the community was, especially as a documentary filmmaker. We came in, uh, we met Yepe, who was uh, who's kind of heading up the World Massage Championship, and they're very open to showing what was going on and. Uh, a lot of them had fascinating stories to tell. Um, we shot probably over maybe 15 di- different interviews uh, with people from 15 different countries. Uh, we sadly didn't get to put them all into the short documentary, but uh, they all come from vastly different backgrounds. But what brings them, as Jonathan said, what brings them together at the World Massage Championship is kind of that that wanting to hone in their craft and and really be being the best at what they do while also sharing you know, what they've learned throughout their life experiences. Jonathan, what do you have to say when people are like, massage is not a competition? Yeah, I've heard that one. <laughs> and, I, and I get it. You know, it's it, it for us, it's such a sacred art form. So, of course, there's going to be this kind of sense of, of questioning it. I would say try, learn more about it, you know, see the see the heart behind it. You know, if you if you look beyond the, oh, I'm going to win a medal, uh, aspect of it, um, <laughs> you really start to find like, oh, wow, uh, this is a way to expand my horizons. John, I think, let me ask you a question. So did you prepping for this, did you work with a lot of clients or one client? And then when you went to the World Massage Championships, did you bring that client or are you now massaging a variety of clients who are then quote unquote grading the competition? So I approached it kind of like a uh, Olympic athlete. <laughs> I, I worked on as many people as I could doing practice sessions to really, I mean, I've been doing this for 15 years, but even after 15 years, there were things I, I wanted to even go further with. So I, I took this up as an opportunity to, to challenge myself to, to do even more, uh, to push my boundaries. And so I trained, you know, I trained every day. I do long days and work on multiple people. I worked with a colleague. Uh, who now works at the clinic that I run, Eric Brown. Um, He's a massage therapist. And so he gave me amazing feedback. He was kind of, he was my coach uh, during the process. Um, And then when you're at the competition, you work in the initial rounds, you work on the other participants. So that the participants who are on the table are other trained massage therapists. And the judges talk to them, get feedback from them. The judges don't necessarily score you based on their feedback, but they use the educated perspective of the other participants um, to help determine um, their scores within the competition. And I just want listeners to know, Jonathan, where was this? Where this was, was in uh, Denmark. Oh, that's not too bad. (laughs) Holy cow. It was, it was beautiful. We took a boat tour around the city and you get to be in beautiful Copenhagen. It was, uh, yeah, it was great to do that as well. (laughs) And also in addition to your freestyle category, there's more traditional categories, right? There's probably traditional Swedish and, and things like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The, uh, Asian modalities are there. Chair massage is a category, um, the Swedish, uh, like you talked about, yeah, they're, they're, it keeps evolving, actually. So as they're building this competition, um, they get more and more refined in what they're doing and how they're, how they're creating it and really highlighting all these different traditions. Jonathan, what do you hope viewers of the film take away from watching it? I think there's two pieces. One is the visual piece. The, the way massage is shown on the big screen uh, the massage underwater, massage on the mountaintops, a uh, massage in a huge auditorium with hundreds of people watching. <laughs> Just the, the visual thrill of that uh, is it, it, delightful. And then the other side of what I hope they take away is the emotional side, that they, that they walk away with a sense of pride in what they do, um, that they feel this connection to a community of healers around the world, that what they share is, is part of an ancient art form that exists all over the world. So that sense of, of respect and dignity and, and falling in love with their, their passion all over again. Beautiful. And Chandler, same question to you. What do you hope that audiences take away from the film? Yeah, same as Jonathan. I think on top of what he said, I hope they also take away kind of the authenticity that I saw in Jonathan from the very beginning. And I even before, before we even started shooting, I interviewed a whole bunch of different massage therapists to really hone in on our main protagonist. And a lot, what I found was, 
there's a lot out there that that's very catchy to the eye, um, but it's more marketing. You know, it's more like we I talk to people who use snakes for massages or, you know, all those kind of crazy type of, uh, of forms. And not to say that they're not authentic, but um, what I loved about Jonathan and his craft is there's, there's really this authenticity that he brings to the table. And I hope people after seeing the, the film see that in Jonathan and also I hope it brings that authenticity to their work if they're a massage therapist or even if, even if they're not a massage therapist to, to really believe in what you do as a, as a human. Thank you, Chandler. Thank you so much. Chandler, was there anything that surprised you? I, I know you talked about a ton of different modalities that you saw. Was there anything interesting uh, with regards to the documentary that surprised you in the making of the filmmaking process? Had you made a documentary before? Yeah, I think the thing that surprised me most about this film was how big a role it played in to my decision to build a career out of documentary filmmaking. This was one of the first projects I worked on after recently graduating. Um, and my whole time at USC is primarily fiction work. Um, so... Uh, this was kind of my first step in the documentary world. And I, I really loved how collaborative it was uh, and especially working because this film, especially as a documentary, it's kind of the combined work of a lot of people and it keeps evolving uh, throughout the whole process. And so Jonathan um, and Kelly and a lot of people on our team, you know, they had their own input and we kind of crafted the narrative as we went. And that was something that didn't, that I didn't find in the fiction side of things. So I guess I was just surprised by how much I loved the experience. And I think it just made me want to build a career out of a documentary. Do you think it was maybe more fluid than on the fiction side? Is that what you were drawn to a little bit? It is. Yeah. In the documentary world, a lot of times the story is found in uh, post-production. So after we've shot everything, have all the interviews, we kind of try to find the narrative. And I remember sending Jonathan, you know, the first cut, which was like two hours long. Uh, and it had all these different scenes in it. And so a lot of the work was putting, just cutting down the, the different scenes and trying to narrow down what story we're trying to tell. And I have to ask too, I mean, your film is in festivals. So are you physically going to the festival in these you know times of COVID or are they virtual or how does that work? And is that super exciting? Because it sounds like it is. Yeah, a lot of the festivals this year because of COVID are, uh, went virtual. So, but we had, we were lucky because last week um, or this past weekend, we were accepting the Illuminate Film Festival in Sedona, Arizona. And we were lucky because it was both virtual, but also in person. So I was lucky enough to go in person um, and see the film in theater uh, for the first time. I haven't been in the theater since COVID first came. So it was, it was a very cool experience to have. Oh, that's so cool being able to see it on the big screen. That is awesome. With an audience too, right? That's great. Yeah, with an audience. <laughs> and the accomplishment, Chandler, of, of winning second best in Fest uh, was pretty pretty extraordinary. What? Congratulations. Yeah, you're hiding the lead there, Chandler. Yeah, Come on. that's amazing. Oh my <laughs> God, that's awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people liked the film. Um, there were a lot of great films there, but we were, we were glad that we found an audience there and we're hoping that you know, as you release the film more publicly, we'll find a bigger audience as well. Wow. That just congrats. That is awesome. Thank you. Jonathan, let's transition from talking specifically about the film to massage therapy on a, a little bit of a broader scope. So through everything you've learned through your exploration and training and building your body work style, what do you think the number one thing massage therapists can do that will make a difference in their work? Yes. I think the number one thing is teach your clients how to receive. So the more, the deeper I've gotten into the, the richness of the art, how I help my clients participate in that dance really sets a trajectory for where we can go. When a client can step into the movement of, of the unwinding, of the intelligence that's unfolding, when a client can engage with that, you know, the work becomes so much more satisfying for the massage therapist, so much richer for the client and, you know, the, the, the spark, <laughs> the, 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 the real juiciness can just can really come out. This is a thing that we don't really talk about in terms of basic training or even at massage school. When I was in massage school, there was very little conversation given to this. So this is something I really focus on when I do mentor groups or when I work with students is, you know, if you can step into that role as an educator, the potential is, is unlimited. So, uh, Jonathan, I'm a client. How do you get me more <laughs> involved in the session? 
<laughs> so, so we meet for the first time and I'm going to have a session with you. How do you get me more in the flow and more in the, like the fluidity you're talking about? Absolutely. One of the things I do during my intake is I introduce some concepts from somatic psychology so that right away you can start stepping into you know, your own somatic, I think of it as somatic descent, descending into the cells. And I show models of like, here's how you can breathe. And here's a breathing ball that demonstrates how you can do that. And this breathing ball can go throughout all the different places of your body. You can breathe into my hands as we're working. You can stretch your skin and your connective tissue through your breath and facilitate the release of your own, uh, your own body. And so this education, starting right from there in the intake, is huge. And there's so many ways we can do that. And there's so many ways that I share that with students uh, in the courses that I teach, just like the metaphors, the visuals, the the guidance you can give. Yeah. You, you can be a world-class client as well. Oh, I, oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Darren's well, competitive spark is turned on. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the competitive client spark. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to be a better client than they, where, than everybody else. So where is the world client championships this year? Uh, Belgium or Portugal? Uh, in my office. In my office. <laughs> nice. Jonathan, what makes you a more effective MT or what makes an MT more effective? I, I held this one question in my mind. What makes one session absolutely magical while another session can kind of be, you know, good, but maybe not as, it may be a little flat, you know, what, what is it like, what, is, you know, I, maybe I'm a little obsessive, <laughs> I'm just so focused on that. And, you know, I took notes over, you know, you know over decade of, of practice and, and, and those notes became a modality and that became my approach, bodywork for liberation. And what I've created is like how to get at the core of that magical experience. And what I teach is, is something that can apply to any technique that massage therapists do. It's really a, a meta modality that, that looks at not how you use your hands, but how you respond to the intelligence of the body mind on the table before you. And it's really what takes massage from a massage experience to a healing experience. And it's how I feed my soul, you know, doing, doing that work. And so many therapists can relate to that statement. It's how we feed our soul. That's beautiful. Jonathan, when we think about the profession as a whole and its future, what are your hopes for the profession going forward? I hope that massage continues to become an absolutely essential part of healthcare. My, my dream is that we as a culture move towards wellness care that our focus is not on treating illness, but our focus is on wellness, and that at the center of that model is massage therapy. I think it's the rightful place. I think it was always one of the pillars of medicine from even the times of Hippocrates. And, you know, it, I, I hope that it, it, it becomes a, that pillar again um, in, our, in our modern day. I think there's a really good chance that this film can help facilitate that too, gentlemen. Uh, Chandler and Jonathan. It's beautiful. It honors the profession. I think other practitioners will be delighted to see it and empathize with the experience of what it's like to be a practitioner. And I think it does service to the public as well, showing the possibilities of massage, showing what massage is and what it is not. Just again, just a beautiful experience. And listeners, I'm so excited for you to watch the film. Darren, I agree. It's a beautiful movie and I cannot wait for Massage Therapist to see it. So please join us. We are so excited to collaborate with Chandler and Jonathan and bring you a fun and special one of a kind ABMP movie night. So Tuesday, June 22nd, Chandler and Jonathan are going to join us. We're going to have a fun online event. Uh, we're going to premiere the movie. We'll show it. You can watch, you can interact with Chandler and Jonathan over chat while the movie plays. And then afterwards, we'll have a live Q&A. So it's going to be a blast. It's free for members and non-members. So really hope you can join us. Learn more and register at abmp.com slash CE dash socials. And then Chandler, I think we've got some exciting news about how people can see the film long term after July 1st. Is that right? That is right. So our festival run is coming to an end now. So we've decided with our production team to make the film available on demand uh, off of Jonathan's website starting July 1st. Um, and that'll be on bodyworkforliberation.com. 
I want to thank our guests today, Chandler Tofa and Jonathan Grassi. To find out more information about Chandler, visit ChandlerTofa.com. To find out more information about Jonathan, visit BodyworkForLiberation.com. Listeners, like what you're hearing on the ABMP podcast? Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen. You'll help us reach more people in the massage and bodywork community. Thanks, Chandler. Thanks, Jonathan. And thanks, Kristen. Thanks so much for having us. It's really an honor. Thank you both. Looking forward to the virtual premiere. Thank you both so much for not only joining us for this podcast, but for creating such a beautiful film that showcases massage and bodywork in the best possible light. We appreciate you. Members are loving ABMP 5-Minute Muscles and ABMP Pocket Pathology, two quick reference web apps included with ABMP membership. ABMP 5-Minute Muscles delivers muscle-specific palpation and technique videos plus origins, insertions, and actions for the 83 muscles most commonly addressed by body workers. ABMP Pocket Pathology, created in conjunction with Ruth Werner, puts key information for nearly 200 common pathologies at your fingertips and provides the knowledge you need to help you make informed treatment decisions. Start learning today. ABMP members, log in at abmp.com and look for the links in the Featured Benefits section of your member homepage. Not a member? Learn about these exciting member benefits at abmp.com more.